Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. In my last video, we showcased classic Chrome, which was one of the Fujifilm simulations built into newer Fuji cameras. And a viewer of the channel mentioned, I think he was maybe joking a little bit, but he had mentioned to try out a turn up bleach bypass. So today we're going to be looking at some sample images taken using this really kind of unique film simulation that Fuji has built into their cameras. So in total, there is 12 different film simulation options that come with a new Fuji camera. I'm filming this on the Fuji X-T4 and they let you simulate different effects uh, of different kinds of, of Fuji film, including black and white, different color simulations and bleach bypass. This lets you choose a color palette kind of according to your subject and your creative intent. Now, the film simulation Eterna Bleach Bypass is described in the camera manual for Fuji, is described as a unique color, which it does have, but very low saturation and high contrast. So it's recommended suitable for stills and movies. Mostly I would say it would be used for movies. In fact, I am filming this video using the Eterna Bleach Bypass simulation so you can get an idea how this will actually look in a movie recording as well. A little bit different. Uh, normally I would film it in Eterna on this channel. So you might be wondering at this point, what exactly it does bleach bypass even, even mean? So a traditional film process of bleach bypass essentially leaves a black and white uh, image superimposed over a color image. So in the developing, what would happen is the bleach bypass, it's a chemical effect which entails either the partial or complete skipping of the bleaching function during a, the processing of a color film. Uh, we're gonna date ourselves back here. A long time ago when you used to have to get film developed, a lot of people uh, probably have never even used a camera that took film. Uh, my first camera had film a long time ago, but I never actually even knew about bleach bypass then. So by doing this, what happens is the silver is retained in the emulsion along with the color dyes. And basically what it is, is the Fuji version of Eterna Bleach Bypass. It will simulate this effect digitally in your images and also in your movie. So like I mentioned, the technique has been around for a long time. You'll probably recognize it more from different iconic films rather than in photographs. Uh, some of the films that have used bleach bypass, uh, the technique of bleach bypass include the movie Seven, uh, Fight Club, Million Dollar Baby, Minority Report, 1984, Saving Private Ryan even used bleach, bleach bypass. So just to name a few, some in different degrees than others, but it, that's the process it was used. So, here is some sample images I took. I used the Eternal Bleach Bypass film simulation on my Fuji X-T4. You'll really notice in photos the reduced, uh, the reduced color uh, from this process. Uh, and also it's a lot less kind of personal. You'll, you'll, they're definitely different. They're not everybody's, everybody's kind of taste. It definitely gives a unique look to these photos. Uh, make sure you let me know what your favorite picture is in the comments below. What I will do is actually leave a number on the bottom of each photo. One of the viewers, Paul, actually recommended kind of say, hey, you should number your images. So I'm gonna leave a number on the bottom. Let me know what number image you like the best in the comments below. Just like any other film simulation, Eternal Bleach Bypass is definitely not the be all end all for your photography. It's probably something you're gonna use sparingly, I think, um, but it's kind of a neat uh, welcome addition to certain types of photography depending on your subjects. 
Let me know if you've actually experimented with bleach bypass yet on your camera. Do you like it? Do you, what do you think? Let me know, leave your comments down below. If there is a certain Fuji film simulation you wanna see next and learn a little bit more about in an upcoming video, let me know that as well in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. If you enjoyed the video, follow along. I share regular content on this channel. It'd be great to have you follow along. If you have questions about this film simulation or any other Fuji film simulation or camera question, I would be more than happy to answer it. Just leave me a comment, let me know, and I will see you all in the next video.